Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about makeup removers. The ones that I have here today are the Napoleon Perdis Marshmallow Foam, the Sisley Gentle Makeup Remover, and just a 99 cent microfiber makeup removing towel that I bought off Wish. So these two were bought from stores. This one was bought on the Wish app. The reason I bought this is because I saw quite a few ads for, I think it's called the Face Halo, which is a microfiber cloth made where you just wet it and then you wipe your makeup off. So this is the Napoleon Purtis Marshmallow Foam Makeup Remover. I have to say this is a really good makeup remover. It smells really nice. It's for face, eyes and lips and it removes pretty much everything that you needed to take off. I'll show you what it looks like. I've got on my hand, I have three lines. This is just a basic Maybelline uh, longwear eyeliner that I've got on my hand at the moment. And that's it, that's completely removed the black line that was there. And this is what I really like about this makeup remover is that it's gentle enough to be used on all your face. It doesn't burn your eyes if you are removing eye makeup. Some makeup removers I have felt um, burn a little bit if they get into your eyes, but this one is generally fine. This is not a dual layer makeup remover. I actually really dislike those because they make my skin really, really greasy afterwards. And the advantage of using this one over one of those oil-based makeup removers is that after I use this, I don't have to wash my face with soap afterwards. I can just rinse it with water and I'm good to go. This is the Sicily Gentle Makeup Remover. This is for face, eyes, and all skin types. It smells really lovely. And the reason I bought it is because because mum had bought some Sicily products and she got this in a gift pack, the, a little small bottle in a gift pack and I tried it and I thought it was really good. But when I bought it for me and when I compared it to the Napoleon Purtis makeup remover, I found that this one let me down a little bit. So what I do now is I actually use this in conjunction with this 99 cent cloth and I use it when I'm using really long wear eyeliner. So if I'm wearing the Chanel uh, pot eyeliner, that's really hard to remove on its own. So I actually mix that with this and then I take my makeup off. And this has taken it off too. I do really like this, however. It is a really nice makeup remover to have and it's a really nice big bottle as well so you know you can use it for a really long time. This doesn't remove as much makeup as I would have liked. It removes basic eyeliners like the Maybelline one but any of the pot set gel liners I found it does struggle to remove those. And this is the third makeup remover that I wanted to show you. So this is basically a very soft cloth which they say you just wet and it will wipe your makeup away without the use of any chemicals any sort of product you don't need to apply anything on your face you just wet it and then it'll take the makeup off and i have to say this is the best 99 cents i have ever spent in my life because it is such a wonderful cloth to have i bought this off the wish site as i did say i think i bought six or seven of them because i got really excited and i tend to buy things in bulk if i really like them or if i think they're a really good price my thought was if i buy it and i don't like it i can just use it as a dusting cloth around the house but i bought six of these and i have used every single one of them to remove makeup what i love about this over these two is when you're taking makeup off with this it doesn't smudge the makeup a lot of lipsticks i find if i'm using these to take my makeup off they actually smudge the color around my face but not with this one this one just takes it right off the only downside of this is you can't actually use it to fix up errors that you have made while you're applying makeup so for that i use a cotton tip and a little bit of this napoleon Perdis marshmallow foam and then i just correct any mistake i've made with the eyeliner makeup remover is an important product to have if you are a makeup wearer that's because you want to remove your makeup in the most gentle way possible. We're already applying heaps of different things to our skin when we put makeup on and there's all these chemicals and they stay on. So makeup, if you sleep with it, has been said to actually age you quicker.
It's also not particularly good for your skin because there can be a bacteria buildup. So before you go to bed, if you are wearing makeup, my recommendation is always remove it. This is really good to remove lots of makeup. So if you're wearing like a full face of foundation or blush and eyeliner and before bed, you just use this to just wipe everything away and you are ready to go to bed and that's all you need to do. Some days, as I was saying, when I have the Chanel eyeliner on, that is my longest wear eyeliner that I've ever tried. It would last for days if I left it on for days. But you can put it on at 6 a.m. in the morning and by 6 p.m. at night, it still looks exactly the same. I will do a review on that later. So when I need to take off lots of really hard to remove makeup, I actually put this on here and use it to remove makeup however that does tend to smudge the makeup a little bit but because i'm taking it off for the night i don't really worry about that so that was my review on these three products i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it informative if you have any questions feel free to ask and thank you for watching